Hello friends, so welcome to the API automation framework using REST Assured. So this is chapter 3. So let's see what we are going to cover today. So if you remember that last time we have missed this particular topic schema verification. So we will cover this particular topic today and we will cover this particular topic, this groovy feature. This is one of the best uh, feature REST Assured is giving to you. Okay. So you need, uh, if you uh, know the a little bit of groovy it will be good for you but even if you don't know uh, a groovy then it's okay we can uh, uh, not much problem right so it is similar to the java right so uh, let's start so so in the previous two chapters we have seen the uh, soap and rest background what is uh, the history of the rest assured framework right so all this thing we have covered in the and the few basics uh, features in the rest assured we have covered in first uh, one and uh, two chapters so the, here are the links right so uh, let's uh, quickly jump over to the schema verification so before uh, jumping to this please make sure that in your palm you have this particular dependency okay so this particular depends uh, dependency is actually basically responsible uh, have all the uh, handling all the handling things are present in this particular jars okay so uh, uh, let me go to the particular case okay so uh, so just quickly run this particular case just to uh, get you comfortable so here what we are doing we are simply hitting this particular api and we are verifying that uh, the status code is 200 and the content type is json right so let me run quickly uh, so this has been passed right you can see okay fine so let's go to the next in which we are interested in right so this schema so uh, you are hitting this particular api and whatever the response is coming so you are verifying that response against a predefined schema okay so this is the schema we have created so the whatever the response comes uh, with any values so we don't uh, care about what the values they uh, that response have but we what do we care that uh, the response should uh, be uh, should compatible with your predefined schema okay so this way you can check all your apis that yeah they are uh, as per the schema or not right so this is a very important check okay so so just five minutes ago i checked this particular site so this particular api is not loading at all so i don't know what happens maybe the server is down at their end so just uh, go and try it uh, just try it your end uh, see if it works right or you can use your own api if uh, you have uh, any right so and this uh, test case will not uh, get executed because this uh, server is down right so but uh, just to explain you what we are doing here so we are simply hitting this particular api and using this particular method of rest assured uh, matches json schema in class path okay so it will read this particular file from your resource folder you can put anywhere just you need to give the particular path so i have put into the uh, resource folder source uh, source test uh, a resource right this particular folder okay so this is the uh, test java demo. here uh, i have stored this particular uh, json okay so uh, this uh, so this way you can easily verify the schema part right so let's move to the next one let's i'm just closing the close these of uh, these are the five okay so okay so uh, uh, let me show you some important groovy features which can be really uh, very helpful uh, to you okay so this is the first one so as you uh, as i already informed you that the rest assured ha uh, the background of the rest assured uh, is written into the uh, groovy so that's why we can use the groovy uh, features okay so uh, in this case what i'm uh, doing that I am hitting this particular API and I am just verifying that these two countries are present in the response ok so this is the API <coughs> ok so I am uh, checking that Cayman Islands and the Cook Islands so here is the Cayman Islands and here this is the Cook Islands 
okay you can give any uh, any level of list okay so i am simply uh, hitting this and in the body in the name in the name node i am just checking that has items one and two okay so let me run this case right so this has been passed okay so here i am printing all the response so i hope you remember to log that all this is printing everything on the console right so let's move to the next one what this is saying here we are adding length of all the alpha to port coming in response okay okay so adding length of all the alpha 2 codes coming in the response okay fine so like what we are doing here i am using the same one so this is the alpha 3 alpha 3 code okay so wait so i am just checking the length of and i am just doing the sum of them okay so uh, just to give you that so let me check this uh, okay around that okay so let me run this with 50 okay so let's see the output it should fail i think it should fail great it has been failed great so what they are saying the actual is 45 okay so uh, the response is 15 there this is the 15 response okay so every alpha code is 3 3 uh, length of that code is 3 so 3 into 15 is uh, 45 okay so that's why i am just uh, putting a check that it should be greater than 50 so our test case failed so let uh, make it as 40 so now this should get passed right so it hasn't passed fine okay so see how easy is that i don't know how people are going to do this in java i have no clue so but in uh, using groovy see we are fetching all this small small codes alpha 3 codes and we are adding them so taking the sum out and just verifying that it should be greater than 40 okay just in one line you can see the power of groovy here right so that's why uh, 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 we can take a lot of advantage of groovy and if you are mastering groovy so it's a plus one for you right so let's see the next uh, test case so here i am simply uh, we have in the previous chapters we have seen that how we can read the response as a string so i am reading the api response as a string and from the uh, string i am getting the list of name nodes okay so i am getting the list here so in the list i have all the name from the uh, api so here I am printing the size of the uh, nodes and I am iterating over the nodes and just verifying that if any particular node uh, that name tag is uh, equal to the Solomon Island so just uh, uh, print out the found my place right so just a small uh, test so let's see great so passed right so found my place okay so the size is 16 okay so on some point i found this particular islands and uh, this has been printed okay uh, nothing uh, i don't think so any groovy features uh, here in this particular case okay so let me show you the good one this is the i love this particular test case really so uh, what do you think suppose if i uh, give you a requirement that okay uh, give me give me all the country name okay all the country name whose length is greater than 30 character okay just think for a second how you are you can do that either you can fetch name as a list and then you can get the string out of that and you can use the java and find the length of that particular string and you can say that if length is greater than particular value then create another array list or just print out the countries right this is the solution what i can think of as of now and 
Swift or Java kind of thing, right? Or even using the Rust short. So this much line, five to ten lines, I have to code right before doing this. So let's see how the Groovy is doing this in a single line, right? Okay, so uh, what the note I have written here? Uh, the Groovy has an implicit variable called it, okay, which represents the current item in the list. Okay, fine. So what it means that uh, Groovy has and this is what we call keywords in Java, right? So these are the predefined keywords. So in the, uh, similar to Java, so in the rest assured, this it is a predefined keyword. Okay, so which represents the current item in the list. Okay, what are the current item in the list? So that it is pointing to that particular item okay so let's see uh, again i am reading the response as a string and from the response you get the list i am getting complete list based on this condition so what is the condition is response dot result dot find all it dot name dot length okay hope you uh, got this point so the current item whatever the list what you have suppose 100 list okay so i am iterating one by one in this one right so from one two three four so so let's take the first item so uh, first item dot name first uh, so i am reading this particular one this is the first value right so first uh, this uh, value dot name dot length is it greater than 40 or not okay so if it is greater than 40 that particular uh, node will get uh, saved in the into the list else nothing will get saved okay so let's see manually what i mean to say i am fetching this particular uh, name and i am counting the character but obviously this is less than uh, this is uh, less than 40 so let's skip this again read this one okay this again uh, uh, less than 40 again again okay so this may be the case uh, 40 okay so I think this is around 30 you can count this one so it should not also get saved into the list so this particular case I think this is uh, uh, character uh, this uh, particular name has the 40 character so this particular uh, country should get uh, island should get saved into the list and okay so this is the top one right this one so let run this particular case and see what the list content is okay so our list has only this particular country okay which satisfy this criteria this one only right so you can see how is in in single shot you are able to find this okay let me down this particular 230 so the list size uh, list uh, size should get grow right so let me print out again okay okay see see the console so this time we have one two and three so uh, this time three countries have satisfied this particular uh, criteria right so I think we have covered all the features in uh, Groovy uh, this particular case. So uh, you can see that how easy is that if you if you are using this particular Groovy features, so your lot of headaches get uh, vanished, right? So hope friends, uh, you have uh, get some good point uh, out of this video, and I'm really sorry I'm putting uploading these videos. Uh, really very uh, taking too much time to upload uh, the videos on the youtube so i will make sure that from the next time i will try to take my time out of this and uh, try to put a uh, lot of chapters right right friends okay then thank you goodbye